Lisa. Yes. What Hi. are we doing? We're driving to Thousand Oaks to interview your old drama teacher. <laughs> Not that he's old, but he's, he's your pretty drama old. teacher from the past. I mean, I mean, he is pretty old. He's 77 years old. Well, I got, that's old. That's up there. You and can't let me, say yeah. Spring chicken anymore. And no. he's lived quite a life. Yeah. And why are you here? He wasn't your drama teacher, was he? I no, he was not. He was a competing drama teacher. He was certainly a legend. But um, frankly, I'm going to be really honest with you. I have no idea why I'm here. It's Saturday. It's 12:30. I could be home with my baby on a Saturday and my husband. Instead, I'm going to Thousand Oaks with you and that guy and the, Doug Liebline. The counselor. And, and Doug Liebling. I'm going to interview somebody, or probably, let's be honest, sit there while you interview somebody who I don't know, who doesn't know me, and who has very little relevance in my life. Maybe you and I can have like a, a cross interview. Hmm. And you and I can interview each like, other? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, look, I always heard about Robert Corelli because we were competing drama um, units. What am I trying to say? Units! Drama units. Drama. Classes? Yep, classes? That's how you Schools. stages, right? Right. Um, but whatever. I honestly genuinely don't know why I'm going. And there's no food. And we're not going to be home until 5. So I feel like I'm making a big mistake. That's popcorn that I made. You got a coffee? Yeah, Adam just, the counselor just bought me a uh, venti iced coffee with a splash of soy and half of a Splenda. Half a Splenda? What are you eating? I'm eating an egg salad sandwich. How is it? It's um, egg salad -y. Oh. Yeah, not bad. I haven't eaten since last night. Hey, Max. Yeah. Why don't you tell me why I'm here? You're here because you're a very, very, very important person to me, and this is a really big deal. And my wife had voice class, but, you know, she doesn't really sit in on mimosa anyway. Right. So when I can't call the wife, who do I call? Second wife. <laughs> and uh, so I just think... Having you there, energy-wise, and everything else is just going to make this an even more special show. Well, then I better change my energy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking bitch. Seriously, <laughs> wrong attitude. <laughs> Where am I going? How's it going, man? Awesome oh, good. You look really good, right, dude. Huh? You Thank you. I tried Go greet your friends. Hey, stud. Right, what's up, buddy? <laughs> this is so awkward and unrealistic. Hive. You look fantastic. Not very organic. No, not. Mm. Look at that. You got your coffee, you got your baseball cap. Doug, what are we about to do? Uh, we're about to talk to Mr. Crowley for an hour on tape. Probably two hours. Two hours? Oh, you see the notes? You just said two hours? Oi. Yeah, hours that's a long time. You see the notes? You know, he's not very interesting. His life is kind of boring. Yeah, really. <laughs> Have you read this fucking thing yet? No, not yet. Oh, dear. It's amazing. <laughs> Welcome to Northgate. All right. Push pound to find name. No. No, 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 no. Corelli! Got it. System is dialing. System's dialing. Hello. Mr. Corelli? Hey. This is. In. All right. Well, how do we find you? Okay, turn right uh, and then turn, take two lefts. And uh, I'm at the end of the block. Awesome. All right, bye-bye. See ya. Well, when I was back in Chatsworth, I heard a lot about you. I think I met you at festivals and yes. different occasions. Yes, uh, that's very possible. Right, Festival right. was the only time in my life where I was not suicidal. You were a <laughs> I was at El Camino. El Camino, yes, yes. I knew that. Right. Uh, right. That's and, what he said. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> the only time in your life when you were not what? Suicidal. Oh, really? I mean, in my high school years. Oh, really? Yeah. Suicidal in high school? Really? Oh, yeah, hateful. We should talk about that. We will. I think right. we should. <laughs> are you, are uh, you what is he doing? He's filming you. All right. <laughs> You're on, baby. Um, am I ready? I don't know what I'm ready for. I don't Good. Know. Perfect. Frankly, we don't know what we're Should we get the really, stuff? Yeah, Let's I go know, grab the stuff. You should be very scared. <laughs> we'll be with you in a second. Lisa, you got to go potty? Come in here. Check this out. Turn the light on. Uh, all right. Dead ahead. Oh, look, a bathroom. This home is magnificent. This, Lisa, is the Shakespeare bathroom. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, stop it. See? So, I, the only thing he's missing is all of Shakespeare's plays in a box right next to the bowl. So do I have to do this while I'm peeing? Oh, grim look at night. Oh, night with hues so black. Oh, 
night, oh night, alack, alack, alack. Let go, I have to pee. <laughs> All right, Mr. C, here's how it goes down. All right. Everyone gets a cup with right. their names on it. Got Inside it. the cup, we got ice. Mm. Then, you got the champagne. Okay. So, <laughs> what happens is, you take this little Johnny off. Mm. Now close your eyes. Okay. Because here comes a magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> hey! You did it good. Now we got, we pop that open. All right. Now we got the no pulp OJ. No pulp. Okay, <gasps> so you, you specify no pulp. Yes. It's got to be no pulp. What, what happens if pulp gets in there? <laughs> Well, it can get the taste. <laughs> you know, it can get it there if, uh, if you wanted to. It's a preference thing for me. Okay. Did you ask Mr. C if he likes mimosas even? Oh, he's drinking a mimosa. Oh. He has no choice. Oh, all right. No, I uh, when in um, when 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 during this show you have to do what the host does. Like I guess so. That's right. And that's what we do, and we drink mimosas, and we talk intimately, yeah. and we have a, a ball. And the more mimosas you drink, probably the more loose. Honest and loose, loose. Yeah, yeah. it turns out the guest is. It's kind of yeah, odd. It's funny that way. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey. Um, I've cried on the show. Lisa's cried, cried on the show. Really? Oh, I've cried many times. Sad moments. Well, sad or like breakthrough, we're just emotional. Okay. Oh, and that's where the counselor comes in, perhaps. Yes! He strikes a nice balance between the, because he's a zombie, he's a living zombie, he has no emotion. Okay. So he's dead inside. Okay. And you are... A maniac, emotional, right. well, intense, yeah, yeah. Okay. erratic, okay. you know, so okay. it'll all work out. But I'd like to, on camera, if you don't mind, Mr. T, we can take yours, and I'm going to take mine, and, you know, once again, this is a rite of passage for me, and I okay. can't thank you enough. Okay. Salute. Yeah, my, my pleasure. I just want to see how you like it. I like it. All right. I like it. So, counselor, what the hell are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah, like, what is all this crap? <laughs> it's how we record my so. But why does there have to be so much equipment? Well, it's a portable recording studio. It takes a while to set up a portable recording studio. I was hoping we were going to get it all down to this one digital mic, but uh, I don't think so. Well, like, why do you need that? It's a mixer. What does that do? Mixes. What's all this? Those are headphones. Otherwise known as cans. Lisa has cans. <laughs> Let's go get a shot of Lisa's can. With with Bob, oh, with Michelle. Okay. So, so you were. So when what? we got to high school, there they are. Bob oh, you're doing these. Know. We're talking about cans. They're filling with milk as friends. we speak. I only feed him uh, from my bosom twice a day now, once in the morning and once at night. So they be go from C's to like double D's by the time of the night. What do you think of that, Mr. T? <laughs> I, I, no, no <laughs> that's, that, you know, that's not a problem. <laughs> it's really not. Oh, we're, we've only just begun. Oh no. <laughs> when Mr. C left the room, what'd you say? I said I see why you respect him so much, and so it's already like I feel oh. reverence toward oh, you. Oh, well, Lisa. Because he's a badass, I right? did say that. I said it quietly no, toward, no, please, toward Max, I'm Jeff. Just, no, you, you're you a very... I'm just a friendly old man. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, how's it going? Max Cook here. <laughs> Don't forget to tune in to a brand new episode of Max Cook's Mimosa, featuring a very special guest, my mentor and high school drama teacher, Robert Corelli. There he is right there. Doug Liebline's on board, and lest we not forget, Lisa Arch and the counselor! <laughs> <laughs> it's an all-new mimosa. You don't want to miss. You having a good time? I'm having a great time.